everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Crochet by Katie Hughes. Today we are working on how to make Yoda's arms. We have done his head in part one. We made his ears in part two. And we made his body in part three. So we are on part four now. And I will be making a whole video showing how to assemble all of this so that you do not feel stressed or overwhelmed. I forgot to mention on the ear video, I only showed you how to make one ear. I didn't like go through and make both. It's exactly the same pattern. And you just flip them so that they'll, it's exactly the same pattern that you can see. Anyway, it's the same pattern. <laughs> if anyone was wondering so just make two and I forgot to mention that so the same thing with the arms just make sure you make two of them I'm just going to show you how to make one but it's the exact same pattern for both arms you're going to need some scissors crochet hook I'm using 3.5 millimeter A yarn needle and for the arms we use both colors of thread so frosty green and buff I can show you what they look like frosty green beige and again, if you don't have these exact colors, you can make it work. This is just Red Heart Super Saver. We will begin with Frosty Green, and we're only going to use the Frosty Green for the very first round. And actually at the very end of the first round, we're going to switch to Beige. Begin by making the Magic Ring of Six. And on this sixth stitch in this, we'll switch to the tan or beige color that you have. Don't worry, I'll go slow so you can see how to do it if you've never done that before. One, two, three, Four, five. Now on stitch five, we're going to, I usually wait till the sixth stitch to tighten or the last stitch, but I'm going to pull it not too tight, but I'm going to pull it tight, tighter <laughs> than normal. Now on, round, on stitch number six, this is still round one, on stitch number six, we're going to insert our hook and pull the green, frosty green through, so we'll have two loops on our hook. Let me show you that again nice and slow. Insert your hook into the center, pull up the frosty green, you have two loops. Then, we take our tan color, whatever color you've decided, and wrap it on the hook, and grab it with your pinky, so now it basically looks like you have three, but we're going to pull that tan color through. Okay? So we're basically switching the colors on the very first round. Now, we're going to clip the green, but we're going to leave a tail. Okay? So leave a long tail because we're going to use that green for stuffing. Stuffing the arm. Instead of using actual stuffing, we're going to use this. Now, take your tan, your tails can get kind of tangled, so just, you can work nice and slow, don't feel like you're in a rush, you got this. <laughs> Alright, so, round two is six single crochets back loop only. Okay, 
So we're going to be working in back loop only of these, these stitches. That means this loop only. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just want to make sure I'm working into the right stitch. We are doing six single crochets back loop only. And I'm going to catch this brown tail right here, or tan, while I crochet. So I'm going to catch that tan one. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through. Okay? Moving on to the second one. Again, I'm going to catch that tan. Now there's my second one, back loop only. Three, And six. All right, that completes round two. And you can see it's creating his tiny little hand. I'm gonna pull that tight. Pull it, pull all these loops tight. You can even tie a small knot in these two these two frosty green tails to secure that hand. All right, round three. Now I'm gonna clip this tan, don't need it. The tan tail is going away. Oh, I guess I should move that out of the way. We're done with green. Round three, we're going to be doing six increases in the front loop only. Now we're going to be working in the front loop only. And we're going to be increasing. So increasing means two stitches into one stitch to make that one stitch into two. So there's my first increase in the front loop only. Now we're going to do our second increase in the front loop only. One and two. My third increase in the front loop only. And what this is doing is it's fanning out the arm so that it looks like His hand is poking out of his robe. Third increase in the front loop only. I'm coming to my last increase, which is my sixth increase. Oops, I caught just a minute, my yarn split. Okay, sixth increase on front loop only. Now go back and you should have 12 stitches along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Perfect. And you can see how it's really fanned out that arm. That was the end of round three. Moving on to round four. Round four is 12 single crochets all the way around, regular both loops. So one, oops, my yarn split again. Two, 
two. Three. Twelve. That completes round four of 12 single crochets, regular single crochets around. Now for round five, we're going to do 12 single crochets again, but this time we're going to be working only in the back loop. So one, two, three, eleven, and twelve. Okay. See how it's looking? Kind of looks like a little cupcake. A top to a cupcake. That was round five, and round five was 12 single crochets, back loop only. Now we're moving on to round six. Round six through eight, which is the next three rounds, are 12 single crochets, regular single crochets. So one, two, 12 single crochets all the way around for three rounds. 11 and 12. Those are my last two stitches for round eight. Again, that was round six through eight, which was three rounds for six single crochets just to get the length of the arm. All right. Now, round nine is going to one decrease, one single crochet, repeated three times, and then two single crochets. So we'll do, oh, first, before we do that, I'm going to add, put my strings down in. Now it's time to stuff the arm and see how easy it makes it to stuff it with the strings that are already attached. And it's just kind of like a loose, light stuffing. We don't need anything too heavy in the arm because it's pretty light and it holds its shape very well. So. so if you want to add more stuffing in, you can. I don't have it all the way full, but I don't mind it because I'm going to be sewing it to the body and it squishes it up like that. So that's the amount that I like. All right, round nine. One decrease. Well, we're going to do this three times. So one decrease, and I like to decrease in the front loop only. All right, and then one single crochet. One decrease, this will be our second decrease. And one single crochet. Now for our third decrease. And one single crochet. Now we have two stitches left at the end of this round because of those decreases and stitches. So do one single crochet and two single crochet. And that completes round nine. Moving on to round 10, which is our final round, is just eight single crochets all the way around. One, I should say one single crochet in every stitch along. Two, three, uh-oh, some of my green got up in there. Don't worry if that happens. Can you see what happened? Just poke it back down. 
It's <laughs> being stubborn. That can happen with stuffing too. Your hook just catches the stuffing. I'm just gonna trim that. And poke it in right there. Now I lost count. I gotta watch that video and see where I was at. All right, four. I had to go rewatch that and see what stitch I was on, which is a good reason why you could use stitch markers. Five, anything can happen that makes you lose your count. Six. Seven. And eight. Then we do a slip stitch to finish it all off. And we trim a little for sewing onto the body. And that is how we make Baby Yoda's arms. Well, my pattern for Baby Yoda's arms. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video, we will be making his little shawl or cowl thing, robe, the top of the robe, whatever you want to call it. We're making this next. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Bye.